What's up? Maddie, so early in the morning. Hello. Oh, my voice is uh, My voice sounds lower. Uh, let's bring out cat cam. I'm CST? Oh, true. Bank. No, it's my, my lips hurt. So I got Invisalign, or I've had Invisalign for a month now. And yesterday, they like, they added attachments to my teeth. And it's like scraping my lips. Uh, don't know if I'm just getting used to the hair, if I judge it too hard, but it's looking good on you. Okay, Tim, stop the cap. <laughs> how are you, Tim? The color is pretty though. I really like how the color is faded out. <laughs> Ear sizzle, thank you so much for the 10 months. I'm a good, I'm good? Okay. Chortle, thank you for the 25. Oh, Tim, we need to go on the coffee run. I, we should schedule something. I need to hang out with you too. Wait, Prodigy, thank you for the 20 me. months. I feel like I have, you've, Tim, you haven't come out to any of the things I've been to lately. Have you been busy or? You, you will get lip calluses? Yeah, I think so. Like, I feel it on the inside. It's because I'm not getting invited? Dude, blame Tony Cajun, man. It's all Tony's fault. <laughs> um, Mayday, thank you for the five months. Sparrow the bird with the 22. Ha ha. Gigi with the seven. Ethereal with the one year. Pieter with the 10 months. Ditto with the 22. Welcome back. Uh, Agent Yellow Hello Yellow Halo with a 17 months. Thank you. Concordia with the Prime. Revsky with a tier 3 <laughs> for 34 months. Can't wait for Jeff to start keyboard overflow. <laughs> Can we hold hands when we get coffee? Yeah, I'm down. What brewing technique do you use for iced coffee? I don't know if it's much of a technique. I just do a regular pour over and then put ice in it. It's probably not the best, but it's simplest for me. <laughs> I don't have like a cold brew kit. I don't know, is there a big difference using a cold brew kit versus just throwing ice in a pour over? I guess Tim's here. Would you say there's a big difference? Which one do you prefer? Watery coffee? I just gotta drink it fast, man. I'll teach you how to make an iced pour over. Ooh, is there a different technique to using an ice pour over? Do you still use the Chemex? Yes, I mostly only bring out the Chemex now if I'm making more than one cup. Like if people are over, uh, for just personal use, I've been using the Switch more often lately. Also counts as a workout. What? Oh, get a Sesvi and a hand grinder and go ham making Balkan style coffee. Nah, no hand grinder for me. <laughs> messy, 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 bocadillo de chorizo messy. What? Why is on what? Is there a soccer game going on? Sorry, is there a football game going on today? Yesterday? Is there a messy news? Oh. He overtakes Ronaldo with most likes sports photo on Instagram. What? <laughs> Sheesh! 21 million likes. God damn. That is insane. <laughs> 21 million likes. Imagine. Imagine having that much social media engagement. Could it be me? Uh, says he will always respect Messi even after Copa America Clash. Oh, is your tea? What is the Copa America Clash? Oh, I see, I see. I still don't know what Zamba meant by his message. Imagine liking football? I enjoy watching football. I don't. I can't say the same for playing it. I absolutely hate playing soccer, but watching it, I don't mind. 
Zombie Mom linked us a video. APL Rock, APL Rock, APL Rock. Messi, Bocadillo Chorizo, Messi! Bocadillo Chorizo! Chorizo Enteron, Messi! What? Okay, let me Google search this. What does this mean? I know chorizo. What is bocadillo? What? Messy chorizo sandwich? What is this guy saying? <laughs> Was he just bragging about his sandwich to Messi? <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> nice shirt. Thank you. <laughs> Does this tear types you? Yes, it does tag me, Dross. I see it. Did I get anything from the recent rolling drop? No. I've been actually trying to... I've been trying to downsize my... My clothing. I've been sewing off a lot of the... My stuff. And just, just keeping it down to... Things that I actually like. Yeah, Halloween boards with a two months thank you. Chozo goes with a 16. Indy Lemon with the bits. Uh, Alexis with the five months. Thank you so much for the, the, just the three months. Thank you so much. Okay, shall we get to the build? Stock switches? Nope, they have been lubed and switch filmed. Shall we get to this build? So you guys might not know who Jeff Atwood is. You guys also might not know stack what stack overflow is. But uh, any software engineers in chat, you guys know Stack Overflow is the bread and butter of your life. <laughs> and today we are going to be building a keyboard for one of the co founders. Isn't Jeff Atwood also the coding horror guy? Yes, he is also the coding horror guy. Um, he's also had a fair bit of involvement with discourse. If you guys use Keep Talk or other forums, there's a high chance you've stumbled across um, discourse. But yeah, pretty big. God bless Stack Overflow, yeah. Stack Overflow is, it, lit it literally, I would say like 50% of your job as a software engineer is just browsing Stack Overflow. <laughs> Quite literally 50% of your job. Okay, so we got some Cherry MX clears. Uh, this Mr. Jeff really likes have heavy switches. He has been dailying stock clears for the majority of his life. He also said he really likes Xylence. This man just prefers, he just wants insane tactility at his fingertips. So I said, okay. He really liked clears. I asked him, what would you change about clears? I mean, he obviously hasn't tried a whole lot of switches. He's actually into custom keyboards though. He does own a couple, I think by now. But yeah, he just said he really likes clears. So I offered, I'll, we'll get it lubed for you, and we'll see how you like that. And as for the slip line, he also really liked the layout. He really likes this four key cluster here, plus he likes the 60% four factor, or 65% four factor. So that is why we went with these. Soran, Mia, Soran, and Genshin. Is this the bespoke commission? Uh, no, this is not really bespoke. This is just the group by unit of the slip line. We didn't do any, no real uh, customizations or anything. Mr. Jeff was not really interested in that. And to, you know, if he, if he doesn't care for personal engravings or not, no reason to pay for a one-off at that point. So we just went with the group by unit. So we have built the prototype of this slip line in the past. This is a board that Switch Mod keyboards ran. So here is a, this is the final 
production unit. Ooh. All right. I like this Jeff Atwood dude. Any Jeffers in chat? All right. Who? Which of you guys in chat is Jeff? How many Jeffs do we have? So this is the slip line. You don't see too many of these being built on streams. I think this was extremely limited. Uh, Switch mod didn't produce too many of these. But it's actually a pretty nice keyboard. I don't know if you guys have seen my name, Jeff. Okay, buddies. Okay, buddies. Why did I even say that? <laughs> I built the slip line. Oh, slip line, Teha types. Oh, this has a decent amount of views. What the? It's actually pretty thick. Oh, we built to a Xylux. Crap, I forgot. Okay, you can't hear the switches then. Never mind, ignore me. <laughs> There's no way you can hear that on stream. Whoops. All right, let's get to the bill. <laughs> but even with Xylance, it is pretty dank. It sounds pretty good. All right, so this is the bill today. And for keycaps, I suggested the greatest set of all time, GMK White on Black. Switches, MX clears, switch filmed, and lube with till five. What is this clip? Oh. Hold on, let me let me go change the camera. Wait a minute. My living room is finally furnished, guys. I have furniture. <laughs> After two months, I finally got furniture. Okay. Shall we start by testing out this PCB? What's your favorite non-cherry keycap profile? OEM. Hmm, I wonder if Slipline... Oh, it's in Via. Nice. Oh my goodness, they left. All right. It is in Via. Nice too. Um, we were going to split something. Let me see. Da -da 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 -da. <clears throat> we are splitting backspace, but we're gonna go regular otherwise. Layouts. Split to backspace. All right. Key test. Test matrix. Key sound. I'm visiting family and from my normal setup, do you have to use a generic talk keyboard? What do you think of MT3 profile? I like it. I actually, ha I'm, I have several MT3 sets now. I just need to put them on boards. MT3 is like almost, almost perfect. It's like 95% what I want in a high profile.
Bowcut Gamer? What what is this? Have you ever tried play Valorant? Yes. Why are you spamming that? Uh, the PCB, I believe, was done by Mr. Heine. You guys already know. Heine does good stuff. Splitting the right or backspace, we only have two, three snaps today. Only three saves. I don't think I've ever seen Taya use non GMK. I generally don't use non GMK profiles on stream, but I do use them sometimes. Arjuna Sharma, thank you so much for the three months. And our big fair, yo, welcome back for 32 months. How have you been? Uh, the key weeb, thank you so much for the tip. Oh shoot, thank you so much. Not bot driving maple thing with the prime. Mr. Krasong too, with the, the 27 months, hello. This, this is a 625. You are only able to build this with a 625. We're gonna need one. Have you tried cat? Yes, I don't like cat. Cat's okay. But I don't think I ever want to use cat. <laughs> I don't buy cat sets. I don't enjoy it. Do you watch One Piece? Yes. Co-founder of Stack Overflow, he's one of the people who saved my career multiple times. Yes, he has saved everyone's career multiple times. I'm pretty sure. All right, let's start by looping the stamp houses. How long did you study for in university? Four years. Studied computer science and math. Mm, does Keychron K6 can use VIA? It cannot. He saved everyone's engineering career. <laughs> yeah. Opinion on Cam? I, I dislike Cam even more. I'm generally not a big fan of uh, uniform profiles. I need that profile sculpt. I uh, love the hair. Just want to say thanks for... No problem with brownies. Thank you. You can't just cut and paste the answers, programmers. <laughs> uh, opinion on SA. SA is the profile I like the least out of the tall profiles. If I had to rank what I like high pro wise, it would be Topra High Pro, then MT3, then SA and then all of the uniforms like SA uniform, cam those are my least favorite I don't get how you can possibly use a high profile that's not sculpted absolutely the worst have you tried DCS? yeah DCS is pretty nice um, I don't like the font that comes with most DCS sets though has dyeing your hair changed the texture at all? Yes. I mean, when you dye your hair, well, assuming you're gonna bleach it, like your hair is gonna get destroyed. 
um, which translates to a little bit more volume. It gets a little bit frizzy depending on how healthy your hair is. Um, I do have a little bit more volume than I used to because it's just so dead. Uh, dead hair also doesn't feel that great if you like run your fingers through it. I don't know if you care about how your hair feels when you touch it, but yeah. I would have to bleach? Yeah. If you're gonna chemically dye your hair, definitely uh, messes up the texture. You're gonna have to use conditioner, like strong conditioners and hair fixing products for a while. Do you have a different weight now since you're technically a Taya Types recall? Okay, bouncy. <laughs> Virgin hair is really nice to dye. Yeah, so I, I my hair has been virgin my whole life This is my first time ever dyeing my hair So I would say Considering that my hair actually doesn't feel too bad Like I've run my fingers through some of my friends hairs and man, it's just like It's just like a tumbleweed <laughs> My hair is okay-ish I, I do have, I did have, I did have virgin hair. I can no longer call my hair virgin. Hi Jay, hi Jeff, thank you so much for the three months. I could be watching Alex Ocapo playing Sekiro. Sekiro? Dang, people still play that game? <laughs> no worries. Digital Hex, thank you so much for the tier two. Thank you so much. Just casual stroking a friend's hair? Yeah. I actually like the texture of destroyed hair. Wow, I don't know if I like it. Favorite uniform profile if you had to use one? Uh, maybe DSA? But I don't think I would... I don't think I like <laughs> uniform profiles. All Cherry Row 5. I think I'm literally stuck on CRP. CRP is great. It's, it's that Cherry Profile goodness. And if you could only use one of your currently built boards for the rest of your life, what would it be? It would be my real force. I want to dye my hair the same as your pink, but I have long hair and wouldn't want my entire head to be like that. Just cut your hair. Cut your hair, forehead. <laughs> we be bleached our hair on the swim team before we shaved it off. And afterwards, our hair dyed like it. Oh, interesting. Are you caught up on One Piece? Yes. Just go bald. <laughs> Do you like Boba U4Ts? Yes. Could the music a little too upbeat? Sure, I can lower the music. I also really like- Oh wait, if you have long hair, you should do it where like, you highlight the inside hair. I don't know how long your hair is, but oh, what's it called? It's called something. Is this skunk hair? Yeah. This is like kind of popular. Where like the the under, like the under inside hair is a certain color. If it's like gray, ooh, that looks pretty nice. Yeah. I don't know, it, I guess you would have long hair. You would need to have considerably long hair. Rogue from X-Men? Yeah, sure. That ain't it? <laughs> what? I like it. Okay, we're gonna use Dragon Balls on the wire. Handmade Metal, welcome back for 11 months. There's a cat in your head. What?
What would you pair with round three curl shield keycaps in a 65% format? What? Literally any 65% that you like. You can put curl shield on most boards. The hair looks better in videos and photos, IMO? Uh, why better in video? Did you build the midway? I did not. How often should you re-loop switches and stabs? Whenever you feel like it. There's no set time after which you should. Just depends on whether you feel like it's wearing off and you want to reapply it. Uh, generally, I would say it should last at least a year or two though. If it doesn't, maybe you didn't lube enough. Or you live in extreme climates. Or maybe you just abuse your keyboards. Dye your hair Nami and Luffy. Hmm, I wouldn't mind. Nami's got... No, Nami's... Nami's gray, I don't think would look good on my hair though. Dude, actually, no. Not, I don't want to go orange either. <laughs> I don't want to dye my hair orange. <laughs> I've been looking forward to the E7 V2. Should be getting here in a couple months. Oh, E7 V2 still hasn't shipped? I feel like that ran so long ago. I did like how it looked, the V2. Did you choose a neon sign design? I have not yet. I am open to suggestions. Ever heard of a Korean mod for stabs? Is that what Mr. Uh, Kenyans does? Are you getting the Moomin keycap set? Yes. Will you be playing CS with Dimitri from the score? I haven't gamed in a while. I wouldn't be opposed to it if I get invited. It's just I haven't been gaming. I think if I started gaming though, I'd probably go back to CSGO and League. I don't know if I like Valorant. If, if I have friends who are playing CSGO, I will I would much rather play CS than Valorant. Korean Maw for stabs is sticking toothpicks and snapping stabs. What? You mean just toothpick modding? Getting Chick-fil-A soon? Nice. Uh, I'll be building my first board next month. I didn't have to choose switches first. Nice. Kenny is bored. Thank you so much for the six months. Have you seen the Haw Haws by Hand Engineering? Yes, I have. Uh, do you have a Spotify playlist? I do not. I use Epidemic Sound. That's a service you have to pay for. But you could, if you just Google Jazz, you can find similar music. Is demand for Kara way low now? Trying to sell mine on mech market at cost and it's just not gaining traction. Uh, well, I mean, considering there's, you can purchase the Kara currently, I guess now is not a good time to offload. <laughs> Isn't the round two live right now? Uh, I thought it was live. Or did they tease the live? I could have sworn I saw a post about it coming back. Or going live. Uh, a sequence 2 is live, but still group by time? I see, I see. Yeah, not the best, not the greatest time to sell a car when you can get one brand spanking you. Here before the jet look. Do you think you can build the Kara without the standoffs? It depends on your switches, but I have built the Kara uh, without the standoffs, yes. Just depends on what switches. Switches and whether you use the foam or not.
Did I see the video that the score made about me? Yes, I did. I have, I have posted about it. <laughs> you plan on making any Valorant themed keyboards? Uh, not anytime soon. Did you get a chance to build the Apollo 80? I did not. Mm. Anybody know any keyboard vendors on the West Coast? Yes, there are tons of vendors on the West Coast. There's Makibo, Divinity, Bolsa Supply. Uh, I mean, Omni Type is technically kind of West Coast too. <laughs> Omni Type. Pretty much all the keyboard vendors are on the East Coast, or West Coast, yeah. Lots of vendors out here. Any on the East Coast? Yeah, there's tons on the East Coast. Novel Keys, Key Cult. Uh, switch mod, kind of wet east coast. Soja recipe to DSS profile compared to GMK is a cherry. All right. Thoughts on the Matrix ME. I liked it. I did reprogram it last night too. This is very nice. Kinda glad I bought the Soya Kara first round. I like the red pink and the flat green. I'm not sold on them. Yeah, the Soya is it is amazing in person. I want to see more keyboards with those kinds of uh, color tones. There aren't too many earth toned keyboard colors, keyboard colors options that are nice in my opinion. And I would like to see more earth tone keyboards. It will also be great for customers, expanding their customer reach. Did you see the novel keys office? Yes. Oh wait, it is split back to me. This goes on enter. <laughs> Um, did you know Jeff Atwood is into yo-yos? Oh, Jinti, what's up? I did not know he was into yo-yos. I am absolutely ignorant of the yo-yo scene. That's pretty cool though. Are you super particular when it comes to sound combo? Uh, as of late, I am not particular anymore. I used to be uh, early on when I started, I used to chase after the thok like everyone does, but now I don't really care. I prefer diversity. It's kind of boring if all your keyboards sound the same, you know? Whoa, Mr. Ben Burns. Thank you so much for the raid. Hello. Welcome Raiders. What do you stream, Mr. Ben Burns? Welcome, welcome. We are currently building a keyboard. We build keyboards on the stream. Most of the time. Hope you had a good stream, Mr. Ben Burns. Thank you for the raid. Uh, you could be better than me? No, I'm pretty bad. <laughs> I'm pretty bad. Um, ah, my, my lips hurt so much. Time flies when you are having fun. Whoa, is that the Mr. Lolstax? <laughs> Thank you so much for the 11 months. Wait, are you still in? Are you still traveling, Lols? Are you back? Dave Gandhi, the of six months. Uh, thoughts on DSS profile compared to Cherry? I unfortunately have not had extensive time with DSS, so I haven't formed an opinion on it. I should probably buy a DSS set. Johannes, thank you so much for the nine months. You're back? Ooh, okay. Wait till you hear about the DIY custom yo-yo. Oh, I know there's custom yo-yos. 
I know that. I just don't. I just don't know anything about the community. But I am aware. Do you lube yo-yos? Uh, I don't know if you lube yo-yos. <laughs> Wouldn't that F up the string? It could like potentially leak onto the string. I guess depending on the material of the string, it might not matter whether lube gets on it or not. Can't tell if I'm more bummed on missing out on the boards at the meetup or seeing that smashing hairdo IRL. Okay, buddy. We should grab food, now that you're back. Yeah, I haven't seen Mr. Lolstax in a while, and he's pretty local to me too. Did you see the mountain ergo? Yes, I have seen it. Down skis? Nice. I wish my drip was as nice as Jinte's. Actually, more than Jinte's drip, I wish I had his jeans. Let me let me show you guys. If you guys haven't seen Jinte's drip, but be, more than his drip, I want his jeans. And let me let me explain. Where's the, where's the clip? This is from the latest video. Oh, there's Tony Cage. Like, Look at this guy. Layered up at a 90 degree event. This was his drip. Look at this guy. Damn. He's too tall. Damn. Jeans or jeans? I want his jeans. G-E-N-E-S. He was wearing this. In LA weather, it was legit 90 degrees. Not a single drop of sweat to be found on this man's face or his body. I gave him a hug. He wasn't wet. I want your jeans. I would love to not sweat. I sweat so easily. This man wore three layers. Three layers plus? It's all black. So he is just absorbing heat. Not a single drop of sweat. I, I probably, if I had to guess, his feet probably didn't even smell. Despite wearing tabbies, probably didn't even smell. It smelled like flowers because he doesn't sweat. <laughs> That's dry heat, baby. Man, I, I, my heat tolerance is so low. You want to smell them? Sure. Let me smell your feet, Jente. <laughs> Koreans don't smell when they sweat, though. Oh, I, I beg to differ. Koreans can definitely smell when they sweat. <laughs> just the, just, it's just the case by case. I didn't know you're into this. Wait, into what? <laughs> What am I into? Uh, did, what, did you watch your video on the score? Yes, I have. Yes. My comment is literally pinned in that video. I have watched it. It was a great video. Bay Area has spoiled you with weather conditions? I, I mean, yes. I mean, the Bay Area weather is so nice, though. I grew up in LA, so it's not like I wasn't exposed to heat. I went to... I've had my fair share of heat advisory days while going to school, getting physical education canceled because it was way too hot to do any physical activity outside. Like, I am aware of the LA heat, but I still sweat. <laughs> Thank you. 
obviously gonna smell when I guy that poop and wash that away. What? <laughs> You ever get fire days? Uh, we have had fire days, yeah, from the, the smoke. Because air, air quality can get really bad out here. Right, was this the right size? I guess it was. I never understood how you wear all those hoodie, hoodies given you live in LA. Um, well, I haven't been hood wearing hoodies as of late. When I was wearing hoodies, that was when I used to be in the Bay Area. That's why I've also been selling off a lot of my Ronin hoodies. It's just not as cold down here. <laughs> I've been, I need more t-shirts and shorts. It's way too hot. Uh, I just did away from the sco score and I'm now crazy into your world. I'm excited for my adventure. I'm building my first now. Nice, welcome. We're talking about the movie Parasite. Oh, I see, I see. Kyazo, thank you so much for the three months. Where did you live before OC? Uh, I, li I live in the Bay. East Bay, to be exact. I'm slowly getting into wanting to do this, but watching you build them is so much cheaper. Love doing mechanical building things with my hands, though. Yeah, if you. If you're interested, you should definitely uh, try it out. Um, it definitely isn't a cheap hobby, but there are budget options available. And we are starting to see more options for budget-friendly products. So I, I definitely recommend going into it. This hobby is unique. I've been in a lot of hobbies. Something about the mechanical keyboard hobby, it is much, much nicer than other hobbies I've been in. Very community oriented. I would say more so than other hobbies too. Okay, this is the bottom piece. It's just a big old chunk of acrylic, or polycarbonate, sorry. This keyboard is top mounted. We'll set this aside. Move the top. And then this is the side profile. What other hobbies are you interested in? Uh, I am in the photo video hobby. I used to be into custom knives. Uh, I'm also into cardistry, I've been into Rubik's Cube Bean, I've been... Uh, I had an electric longboard phase too. <laughs> I've also been... What other hobbies have I done? I guess audio is kind of a hobby, not really though. Audio is too expensive. Your thoughts on custom wrist rests? Custom wrist rests are dope. PC taken care of? Oh, Zoran, I met one of the PC. I met the guy who shipped out my PC slate order <laughs> today, this morning actually. It's kind of, kind of like a whoa, spooky moment how it lined up. Yeah, I met him on someone else's stream <laughs> and they were talking about my order i was like wait a minute <laughs> that was pretty weird all right this is the plate aluminum plate best plate material this is the top piece what did you find those stones with sculpted insides it's from a uh, artisanal ceramics maker named Cheshik. J A E S I K. All right. This 
ball on the plate. Did you build Gundams? No, I never really had a Gundam phase. But I do appreciate nice Gundam builds. I'm pretty ignorant of the Gundam scene, but I do I can appreciate the hobby. I appreciate from afar. Jay Warfish, hello. Aluminum plate is still undefeated. Wait, Jay Wordfish. Did I did I ghost you? Did I ever get back to you? I remember you sent me a post. I think that was you. Your friend was doing something. I was interested. But I don't remember if I ever got back to you. If I ghosted you, I apologize. <laughs> I am so bad with responding now. I can't keep up with all the messages. <clears throat> What are your thoughts on ergo clears? I love ergo clears. Ergo clears are pretty top tier tactiles in my opinion still. It's all good? Oh crap, I might have ghosted you. <laughs> my camera. Oh, that's not what I want to show. Okay, cat camp is back. Ooh. A PCB? Yeah, it's nice. What's your personal best on a 3x3 solve? I wasn't that amazing, but my PB was 18 seconds at my peak. <laughs> if you want to talk about a hobby that goes way too deep, guitar building. Oh, I mean, I feel like anything musical, music related, you can go really deep. <laughs> I've been looking at more, I've been looking at some speaker reviews lately again. I kind of want a new set of speakers. If you guys have any recommendations, uh, speakers for my TV, I should clarify. Speakers for my TV, because I don't want to get a sound bar. I want like actual speakers. What are your favorite tactile switches? I have a command exclamation, best tactiles. Favorite song? Oh, that's hard. It's probably a Korean ballad. KEF good speakers. KEF speakers. Oh, 
How expensive? Oh, these look sick. Are these actually good? How come they don't have price points? Hi-fi speakers. Do I get hi-fi speakers or home theater speakers? Sonos Arc? No, but I want like big speakers, you know? If you get hi-fi, you need an amp DAC. Oh, I see. Hmm, okay, I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to get a amp DAC just for my TV. <laughs> I'm not that high-end enough yet. I would ideally just like to plug the speakers directly to the TV. Whether it's via optical or something. Uh, check out Genelec. Oh, I've definitely heard of Genelec. That's an expensive brand, isn't it? Build an amp? You'll be good at it. I have no reason to build an amp though. Just get one of the fancy yeah, sound bars. I don't want a sound bar though. I, f I like I like how speakers look. Plus, you can have like bigger drivers and sound bar or in like actual standalone speakers. Klipsch Heresy speakers. I haven't purchased a Klipsch product in a while. I used to use some of their earphones back in the day. Okay, I'll maybe look into Klipsch. Down with soundbars? No, I don't think soundbars are bad. It's just... Do you really have to break in creams before lubing? You don't have to. I mean, you should if you want to. It's if you can, might as well, right? But you're not. It's not gonna hurt you if you don't lube it. If you don't break it in before lubing. KF is supposed to be great. I see. Telios V2s or Holy Pandas. Those are very different switches. One's a linear. One's a tactile. Uh, should you always break in a switch before lubing? I mean, if you if you can afford to break in a switch before lubing, yes, go for it. It's nice, but it's not the end of the world if you don't. Your switches will naturally break in with use, and it'll still be fine. It'll just take a little bit longer to get there. Gap Blacks or Palm Inks? Gap Black Inks or Holy Pandas? Once again, that's... You're comparing apples to oranges. One's a linear, one's a tactile. Or just be lazy like me and don't even build a new keyboard. Bruh. What does it mean to break in a switch? Breaking in a switch literally means just doing this. Whether it's by just forcefully actuating it like myself, or you're just doing this naturally through use. Um, I mean, there's, if you think about a switch, you have the stem moving up and down on the housing, right? And inevitably, molds aren't perfect there are micro dips and micro bumps on both pieces of plastic straight from the factory and as you use the switch more as it keeps rubbing against each other those micro bumps and dents they eventually start wearing off which translates into a smoother switch over time so some people break in switches before they apply a coating of lube but I don't think it matters too much whether you break it in and then lube it or lube it and break it in. The major difference is that initially if you build a switch with unbroken in switches, 
Of, of course it'll be a little bit scratchier and less smooth than a broken in switch. But after you use your keyboard for a long enough time, it will smoothen out. Like why? I feel like people worry about breaking so much. <laughs> like you can you can spend you can spend months asking different keyboard people, should I break my switches before lubing it? You could have spent those extra months just using your switch. Just use your keyboards, guys. It's a, it's a tool. It's meant to be used. It'll get smooth with use. Enjoy your keyboard. Breaking in is about as much pseudoscience as burning is with headphones. Wait, is, is burning actually snake oil for headphones? I thought burning was legit. Is burning snake oil? <laughs> Has it been scientifically proven burning is... Breaking for audio equipment is total nonsense. Really? Or is it more is it more of a psychological thing? Like when you listen to new audio equipment, doesn't it take time for your ear to like don't you need to get accustomed to the specific sound signature? Is that what it's more about? Psychological burning? Uh your brain just adjusts to stuff? Maybe, yeah. So you're saying objectively No, you're wrong. You guys you're wrong. Rodactus. The more the more electricity that flows through my drivers and amps and chips, the better it gets. It must be it. All that electricity and amperage and voltage flowing through, it lubes. It lubes internally my audio equipment. <laughs> You need to have golden ears. My ears are pretty golden. My ears are pretty big, yo. I can I can detect the differences. So I was like, I need to break in my PCB then? Yes. Maybe that's the new move, breaking in PCBs. Just plug your PCB into your computer, guys. Every new keyboard you get, before you build it, you must burn in the PCB. Plug it into your computer, unbuilt, and just leave it like that for a month. And you'll notice a speed. You'll notice a speed boost in your latency because it's been lubricated. <laughs> I recommend frying your GPU. Okay, now that's that's too far. That you you don't talk about GPUs like that. GPUs are a sensitive topic still. They're hard to get. Do you feel like the switch market is oversaturated? Cause I'd be feeling hella overwhelmed with switches wanting to try new ones that pop up. I would say so, yes. Um, other people might disagree, but I, I think yes. I think there are way too many switches that shouldn't exist. That shouldn't exist. Um, speaker recommendation, Swan M300 Mark II. Oh, I have the Bouchard. Bouchard, I've, I don't, it's not pronounced Bouchard. But yes, the A500 did come up in my research. It sounds like the A500s are super nice, but they're pretty expensive. The A500s seem pretty dank. Take a garden hose to your PC. Are there big differences between PCBs? Um, I mean, yes and no, I would say. For, for sure, some PCBs are more prone to just dying on you or eventually popping up with issues. Functionally, I mean, for keyboards, PCBs aren't too complex, I would say. 
Like once you build a keyboard with a PCB, as long as you can reprogram it and you can reprogramming it enough for your needs, that's about all you would need functionality wise from a PCB, I feel like. There are differences in like the, the construction and the quality of a PCB though, that I would say. USB hub, I, I actually think USB hubs should be more prominent on keyboards. Topra via PCBs when? Oh, that'd be the dream. Being able to reprogram my Topra keyboards using VIA. I mean, it doesn't even have to be VIA. If I can just reprogram it, period, without having to get a like a Hasu adapter or something, that would be sick. I was talking about the PCB that bricked her. Oh, yes, I remember that stream. I had to restart like five times before I gave up. Yes. Yes, there are differences to qualities in PCBs. <clears throat> you could also have dangerous PCBs. There are, there are multiple recorded instances of PCBs starting to smoke up immediately after plugging it into your computer. A PCB bricked, yeah, a PCB bricked my ports. Uh, I think Olivia actually had a board once and it started to smoke up and she posted about it. I forget which board, this, this was years ago. But yeah, Olivia for sure has had a PCB smoke up. It's pretty spooky, man, when it does. Extremely spooky. Mm -mm -mm. Let me bring up my notepad. Things have definitely gotten better over the years, for sure, yeah. Oh yes, I think it I think it was a Leaf 65 actually. Yes, that is the PCB Soren and I were talking about. <laughs> Mr. Tony Cajun with a tier three? Holy moly, thank you for the 15 months. Hello. The Rhymanoceros. <laughs> thank you so much for the 11 months. If you're for a little DIY and are open to amping, you can glue up some killer speakers from a kit. I've been using these 11. Ooh. Do I wanna go DIY speakers though? Big Sexy 8, thank you so much for the three months. Milia, Milia, thank you so much for the 15 months. What's a good puppy? Oh, he's too long for the camera right now. Thank you so much for the 15 months. My GF says hi for and thanks for teaching her how to lube switches. Nice. Silent Head, thank you for the six months. Uh, Jay Warfish with the 13. Bezel King with the seven months. Apex with the 13 months. Lilantos, thank you for gifting a sub. And the 13 months, Serbius Birius, Sirius Birius. Thank you so much for the tip. This is my first time donating. I love your work. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Gym leader Nathan, what's good, papi? Thank you so much for the 13 months. How are you doing? Dude, my, my, my like cabinet of spices, it looks so pretty right now, gym leader Nathan. <laughs> Cause I, I took it out of the box and I just lined it against the wall. Ooh. I'm so happy now. <laughs> I can go ham with my spices. Yeah, gym leader Nathan got me onto this uh, chili oil called Hot Shit. It is legit one of the best chili oils I've ever had in my life. So I ordered a dozen. I'm probably gonna gift a couple, but the rest is all for me. <laughs> okay, it is time for sponsor time. We have several sponsors of the channel. Hot shit's so good. Yeah, it's so good. Do spices expire? I mean, they last a while, but I, I think more so than expire, eventually they'll probably lose its potency, if I had to guess.
But the first sponsor that we have is KBD Fans. Head on over to kbdfans.com. Um, tons of products you can currently purchase. GMK Shoshin is live. Definitely a GMK set you don't want to skip out on. It's got, I mean, it's got pretty neutral colors. And the novelties are fantastic in my opinion. Especially if you're into photography or videography about at all. They're best when fresh. Yeah. Um, there's also Kuroshiro, an EPBT set that you can pick up, designed by Mr. Gok, a community favorite. Uh, EPBT Dreamscape as well looks very nice. And check out the interest check for the Mountain Ergo on kbdfans.com. Um, what keycaps will you be using? GMK white on black. The next sponsor that we have is Key Cult. Head on over. Oh my goodness. This PCB is like floating. I need to let it solidify. Uh, head on over to keycult.com. They make <clears throat> one of the best high-end custom mechanical keyboard kits you can purchase today. Um, you probably can't purchase any off their website right now, but I believe there is, I think they're expected to have a sale shortly, right? Uh, the number three was also teased on a pretty recent stream. If you guys want more leaks on what the number three is like, they teased it recently on their 24-hour uh, charity stream. But yeah, check out keycult.com. Amazing folks. And I think they might have found a CNC operator. The next sponsor on our list is Novel Keys. Head on over to the novelkeys.xyz and use code TEHAKEYS at checkout to save 5% off in-stock items. But Oblivion V3.1 currently live. It's a fantastic set by Mr. Oblotsky. It's the set I also use for testing my mods for correctness, or sorry, straightness. It's got a very nice accompanying Rama M60 macro pad as well as dank artisan collaborations. Check it out. You can also pick up uh, an NK65 Oblivion Entry Edition. If you guys are in the market for an NK65 Entry Edition. Um, the Tea Types desk mat is also in stock. The extras of them at least. If you guys want to support the channel, please consider buying the Tia Types desk mat from Novel Keys. You can also pick up tons of switches, keyboard merch, uh, keyboard building equipment. Check out novelkeys.xyz. The next sponsor on our list is Omnitype. Head over to omnitype.com. GMK Botanical 2, currently live, featuring a new base kit as well. You can still get the original base kit color, but there is a new base kit as well. Check it out. Also tons of in-stock products on Omnitype such as keyboard solution. Solutions for keycaps and switches and keyboards. They have carrying cases, desk mats. You can even pick up 8008 ink switches Use code uh, sweet-tay at checkout at omnitype.com slash types. Germy Germ, thank you so much for the bits. Have you protoed the NK87? Yes, we have shown it off on stream a while ago. Shrimp Way, thanks for the Prime sub. Uh... Next, we have Prime Keyboards. Head over to primekb.com slash types. You can pick up several switches from there, such as the Alpaca V2s, some TTC switches, and now they have a new switch offering. They are stocking silent T1 tactiles. T1s are a very popular tactile switch at the moment, but now you can get a silent version of them 
if you want to preserve the tactile level of T1s without as much noise. Check out primekeyboards.com, sorry, primekb.com slash tier types. Next we have Switch Mod, the designer of this board. But they are also one of the biggest lube suppliers within the hobby. That's where I purchase all of my lubricants from. I use Crytox 205 grade zero for stabilizers. Also have a tutorial on my YouTube channel on how to lube your stabilizers. And all of Switch Mod's lubes are fine for lubing your switches with. Check them out. I also have a guide on lubing your switches on my YouTube channel. Using my affiliate link saves you 4% off of your lube orders. Super McGusta, thanks so much for the 11 months. And last but not least, we have Zeal. Head on over to zealpc.net slash types, where you can pick up some expensive boutique switches, such as the Telios V2s, which are a very smooth linear. There's also the Zelios V2s, if you guys want Omega strong tactility at your fingertips. Zeal also carries silent variants to both of those switches, providing different weight options for the springs. Check out zeopc.net slash types. Have you found a new colorist? I have. Um, the person that I originally got this hair from, her assistant is taking over. So I think I'm good. If she trusts her assistant, that's fine by me. I don't know how long I want to keep this hair though. What's your favorite spring weight? Can I change my color yet, chat? I've already had this for over a week now. What's your favorite spring weight? Probably 62 if I had to pick one. Uh, how did the battery in that soldering, does it need to be plugged? Wait, there's no battery in this. This was always plugged. <laughs> Yeah, what are your thoughts on soldering Milmax sockets to boards that are not hot swap? I personally don't care for it, but if you, I mean, it's it's definitely an option if you don't have a hot swap board and you want to turn your board into hot swap. It's just a hassle to deal with. So I generally don't do it. How come you are always charging your soldering iron and not prepared to stream? Okay, lol stacks. Yamcha, hello! Are you going back to your original haircut? No, I'm gonna try growing it out a little bit longer. It's a little short. I mean, it's, I would like it to be a little bit longer. I've never grown my hair this long before, so I'm gonna experiment. I've had the same hairstyle for way too long. Kinda want a change of, change of pace. Are there any benefits to a soldered PCB versus hot swap? Uh, not too much. There is a slight increase in stability, I guess, of your switches. You never have to worry about your switches popping off whenever you change keycaps or if your plate is very loose, for example. You don't really have to worry about that, but uh, functionally, no. They both work fine. It is, it is pretty interesting though, how, how the, the opinions have changed. I feel like when Hot Swap was first introduced, uh, all the enthusiasts rioted. <laughs> maybe, it was, maybe it was born out of elitism, but Hot Swap was not well liked when it first came out. 
people were dance gaming about hot swap, but now it's pretty accepted to have a hot swap board. We just like the fumes. <laughs> Whoa, JD dot ST. Thank you so much for the raid. Two rains in one stream. Hello. Thank you so much. What do you stream JD dot ST? Hope you had a good stream. Welcome Raiders. We are building a uh, custom mechanical keyboard today. That's what I do on stream. We build keyboards. And you guys came at a slightly uneventful time. <laughs> We're soldering the switches. But we're almost done, so you guys can see what the final build looks like. Where is Krelbit? <laughs> I don't know. Krelbit's too busy. Playing around with lube. Is this north facing? What about interference? Uh, you don't have to worry about interference generally with custom keyboard products because we don't care about RGB here and we don't use, we mostly use Cherry Profile. Yes, that is also true. I am currently soldering upside down <laughs> in case the orientation was not clear. soldering see how good we only really need to check well, I guess caps lock too oh wait 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 no I trolled myself we are not supposed to go step caps dang it I'm supposed to go normal caps do you put candy in those pockets uh, I can put whatever you want. I can be a lube dealer. Always carry Go up to a little kid on the street. Hey yo, you want some lube, baby? <laughs> Hide your kids. <laughs> Yo, hey everyone. Okay, 
I got plus this chili oil in there. <laughs> This sucks so good now. After lubing it, oh, it's so nice. Definitely encourage everyone to lube. You should also be periodically cleaning your desoldering pump. If you do use a pump, it makes a big difference. How do you lube that? Oh, I literally, I legit put 205 grade zero on this. You can open it up, you can unscrew it. There's tutorials on YouTube. Just unscrew everything, you can apply lubricant. And it makes it so much nicer. So I should lube my pump. Yes, you should definitely lube your pump. 100%. Then pump? What? Mine gets super clogged from lubing. So the solder base gets stuck. Maybe you're applying too much lube then. Like you should only be lubing back here where the spring is. You shouldn't be lubing the whole thing. There are, there's tutorials on YouTube. Just watch a couple. It's not that hard. When will you be coming down in a warehouse? I still have your beans? Oh shoot! Should I go this Friday? Uh, I think Jared's in this Friday, right? I, sh I should probably stop by. I also need... I still have an inventory. <laughs> I do need to stop by. Uh, maybe I'll hit up Jared. Or when are you in the... When are you gonna be in... In the... Okay, caps lock looks pretty straight. Backspace also looks pretty straight. Nice. Let's see. my hands be right back chat you're a thick healthy boy but you can still button the top button well I, bu I buy shirts that I can button the top for <laughs> but yes uh, I'm gonna go wash my hands hang tight chat
bear. Look, they're both sleeping on the tree, look. Ooh, we can go vertical cam today for this. Assemble this bad boy up. I feel like you doubled your monthly subs in the past year. Oh, I don't know if I've doubled. I've been pretty... No, my subs has actually... It's been declining. <laughs> I definitely had way more subs during, the, during last year. I am already fading into irrelevancy chat. I am a dying streamer. Dying streamer, you sad. All the moving wrecked me because I moved in the beginning of last year. I was doing fine. I mean, I'm, I'm still doing fine. I'm not like worried, but uh, I moved in July and that wrecked me because I didn't stream for like a month. And then I moved again. <laughs> that wrecked me again this year. Yeah, it's okay. We'll get we'll get back to where we were. But I I think it's also I also shouldn't base or compare myself to my performance during the pandemic. I feel like everyone as a content creator. I feel like every every content creator saw a boost during the pandemic, but now that. The world has opened up a bit. People are going back to work. Uh, views are going down slightly. Everyone, yeah, everyone had higher views. Everyone was getting more subs because everyone was working from home and not actually working, but just watching a hell of videos. And now they're actually back in the office. Every content I know is down some. I agree, but it's okay. Let's go back to normal. Yeah, it's okay. You can't always be peaking, you know? And if anything, it's, it should be motivation to get back to... You know, I, I guess the pandemic, it, sh it should be treated more as like... It's a... Uh, it's a milestone of what, what your platforms could be like. You just have to get there organically. I don't know what you're talking about. You still just sit at home not working and watching videos. GG, hope your manager is not here. Twitch is only gonna grow anyway? Ooh, that's actually up for debate. I think some people, a lot of people are dissatisfied with Twitch right now. Um, there's also, there's also some... Already know I had to come back. There's also some interesting tea brewing, I feel like. Oh my goodness, what the? Fugitive King Tut, you didn't have to do that. Thank you so much for the eight gift of subs. Brown Bear with the three months, thank you. Jazay Jade, thank you for the 11 months. What's the longest amount of time you've waited for a group by item you've purchased? Uh, it might be my F77. I probably waited three years, two to three years for that. I finally have everything, I think. And Future of King Tut, thank you so much for the 14 months yourselves. Elliot Peters with the 10 months, thank you. And JDOT, thank you so much for the tier one as well. When you said people are dissatisfied with Twitch, do you mean more of viewers or streamers? Uh, I think more so streamers. 
I think viewers are okay with Twitch, but it's more so the streamers. More so streamers and external factors that Twitch should consider. Low no both? Wait, what are viewers... Co what do viewers complain about with Twitch? I don't know what you would complain about as a viewer on Twitch. Twitch partner contracts are kind of shit. Yeah, I would highly encourage you guys to watch um, Devin Nash's latest video on it. It's pretty interesting. Purple screen of death every eight minutes. I guess that that is true. Yeah. Twitch definitely has to scale up a bit more. Yeah. Okay. I do agree on that. Huh? Devin is goaded. <laughs> he actually has amazing insight. Like whether you like him as a person or not, Devin Nash definitely uh, someone who you should consider whenever he puts out an opinion. When it comes to when it comes to content creation and some of the esports related business aspects, he's definitely definitely a person you should consult. All right, top plate has been mounted. I'm more dissatisfied with the streamers because I'm so used to watching everything at two speed and real time is slow. I mean, that's that's one of the that's kind of the appeal of live streaming. I feel like that is a weird. This is a weird question, but what is the bookshelf in the back? This is I just got this off uh, Wayfair. I don't. The exact listing for this is no longer available. I did search for it, but you can probably find a similar one off Wafer or other platforms. Okay, why is this so tight? Hmm? Oh, I remember. Hold on, there is a instructional build video on this did mr crowbit send me it let me see it was probably a while ago mm, this might be very tight let me see let me see oh man that scroll so much <laughs> for slip line combo I remember a video of Heine building this and he had some instructions. Or maybe there is no instruction. Okay. I guess I just gotta go for it, huh? Wait! That shouldn't be there, right? Oh, it's still manual focus, crap. Was this not snapped off all the way? That seems like an extraneous bit of PCB. This can be snapped off, right? I think this is what is causing it to not go down easily. Yeah, there's a there's a clearance problem right there. Hmm, how do I? <laughs> I think, yeah, I think I gotta clip it out too. unscrew all of this all right I thought I could score it and take it out but it's too small B John Yeo thank you so much for the prime sub rot ginger thanks so much for the tier one as well 
How much would a build like this cost? Uh, you want an answer? Take a vote. How many of you guys actually use or know about Stack Overflow? Do you guys use Stack Overflow? This is a true test to see how many of you guys are engineer, software engineers or aspiring software engineers. Oh, majority of chat leaning yes. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Would not be an engineer without it. Nice, okay. This is still kind of hard. Because the plate gets in the way. Oh, wait, I've got a flush cutter. Moment of truth. Let's hope that was just extraneous. Oh. Okay, everything seems to work. happened. Okay. Nice. My resume full-time stack over for uh, I was gonna it, it would have been bad if there was actually if there were traces underneath that. It scared me a little bit. Right. Doesn't hurt to check. How long do these bills take to get to clients? I haven't seen Dave 2D post about his board. Uh, what? Dave 2D has shown the board off like at least twice. He, he, he didn't make a dedicated video about it, but Dave has received his PC or keyboard a while ago. It's made like small cameos here and there. Were you able to fix the alignment issue? Yeah, I remember Heine putting out a video. I don't know where it is though. But we'll see. I haven't actually assembled this case. We'll see. Straight Chroma, hello! Ni howdy, hello. Did you see MKBHD was his custom? Wait, did he actually get a custom? I thought someone sent him a... a modded Keychron. <clears throat> Let me just... I haven't tightened the... Mm, I should tighten the plane actually. There's no reason not to tighten. goes in. Mr. Zen, hello. Uh, 
Are we going to do a drop test? No, not with this. This is a, a, a client board. <laughs> uh, I think he was trying to raffle it, but gave it a list price for some reason. Uh. Wait a minute. I cannot just slot it in. I need to find the Heine video then. Where is the Heine video? I know for a fact. Let me see. From Krellbit. Oh, why is caps lock on? Uh, has link. Or did Heine send it to me? Uh, let's see what links Mr. Krullbit has sent to me. Oh, I found it! Alright guys, so today I'm going to do a quick little tutorial on how to properly put your slip line together. So due to some design flaws by myself, yours truly, Mr. Heine. Um, there's some issues with, I guess, getting the plate to fit properly together. Um, it's doable. It just takes a little bit of finagling, and I'll show you how to do said finagling. So here is an example build, not soldered. However, it's ready to be put into the case. So your top case and your bottom case, obviously. Not too big of a deal of there. I'll zoom this in a little bit. Uh, so the USB port fits nicely into the port cut out there. Sorry for the autofocus, but it's the best way for me to do this. Um, so you're going to slide it in gently. So the USB port is seated in the cutout. You're going to put in, I would say to start, probably three to four screws. As I get this stuck, I can't get it out. Three to four plate screws, maybe just one on each corner. And you don't want to make them super tight to start because oh. you've seen them in. I did it again. So I'm going to loosen all of these. There's two. Like I said, you don't want to make these very tight yet. It's just kind of uh, to hold the plate in place at the time being. All right, now here comes the fun part. So the issue is that sometimes um, the plate does not fit very nicely in these small cutouts um, uh, because okay. the tolerances are so tight. Um, so the issue is you kind of need to wiggle it back and forth as you put it on. That's what she said. So you place your bottom in. You can see here that this is the issue that will happen is the bottom does not sit perfectly flat and flush how it should. So how I have solved this is I will kind of slowly massage this back and forth a bit. You can also push back and forth on the top portion. What the fuck? Try to get it to fit in nicely. I've got to massage this board. Okay. It's a little more than it should be right now. Okay. From your top. And your bottom is almost there. There we go. So you just kind of push down and wiggle it side to side. And you can see it is not perfectly flush. So as I said earlier, you need to make sure you don't fully seat your plate screws yet. But now that you know they're in a good spot, you can take the bottom back off, tighten them down fully. Oh. If you still want to leave them a little, a little bit loose, so you can try to re-wiggle it again. I think free. I got it. Okay, I think I got it. Oh, Grace, hello. It is now fully flush. I, I gave it a little massage. So I just have to make sure it retains that position. No, but now it's... <sighs> Wait, now this path won't come out. It's massaged and it's flush. Okay, I'm gonna take this off so I can, so I can grip this a little better. <laughs> More massage, yeah. <laughs> Got to massage the slip line. Oh, that's probably way too loud. <laughs> Can I just do this then? How do I take out this bottom piece? Oh. Okay, and then let's tighten these. 
try not to shift it too much. Okay, now that is tightened. Is this still flush? It's not flush anymore. <laughs> no, it shifted. Okay, I need to loosen these again. Okay, that is flush. Now it needs to maintain this when I take this off. <laughs> That's annoying, not gonna lie. Yeah, this was a slight design. Uh, I guess you can flaw, call it a flaw if you will. Which is why there there weren't too many units of this. Actually, no, I don't know if that was the reason why. But how can I safely take this out without shifting the position? Okay, okay. Let me let me watch more of the Heine video. Because it will not make a difference at the end. Once the bone is on. Oh, how, when do you take it off? And with the step side, you can see it's not perfectly flush. So as I said earlier, you need to make sure you don't fully seat. Oh, it's easier for him because he has a aluminum base, so it's heavier. <sighs> okay. Mine doesn't just pop off like that. It is flush. Probably shifted it. Maybe I don't loosen it as much. Just do one rotation. Okay, that is flush now. There's just too much movement when I take this off. <laughs> Mine doesn't just slot out like that. play like a guessing game and just constantly I don't think Heine's method works with this right now 
I'm just gonna try to center it visually. No, it's not broken, it's just the the piece just slamming down. Yeah. Maybe maybe Heine's method works for I mean, I don't know, maybe it's different per. I wanna say it should be it should be somewhat centered, right? Let me think. When it is flush, I have trouble pulling it out. Right now, I have trouble pulling it out on this edge. Right now, this is just free coming off. So that means maybe the plate is more aligned here. Because it gets stuck on this bottom row, so maybe I should push it down more. As opposed to centering it. If I just make it completely flush against this wall. Let's try that. If I just make it flush down there. look for flex seal what Check Stack Overflow to find the solution. <laughs> yeah, can someone uh, Stack Overflow this? Assembling a slip line. Oh, okay, there's a bit more resistance this time. Oh, maybe I shouldn't be forcing it. 
Oh. No, it is still not flush. Okay, but going right, definitely okay. Yeah, now, now that is stiff. Okay, it's definitely a, a line closer to the right than it is the left. So now we just can't. Now we don't push it all the way to the right. Just a little bit to the right. Okay, so bottom justified, right justified, but just ever so slightly to the left. Jeff Apple will never be able to take this apart. No, taking it apart is easy. It's just once you take, once you remove the plate fixture, you're gonna have to deal with aligning it again. Tiny's trick would work, but maybe moves it a bit because of things sticking out that you cut. Wait, what? The thing that I cut has nothing to do with whether it's easy or not. Okay, I don't think this aligns with me. Does something happen when I... Or is it like diagonally aligned somehow? I could easily make it flush once I wiggle it some. Black screen? Oh, the battery might have died. The question is how can I easily remove this from this state? Once it, once it actually fits flush. Once I tighten it, it's GG. <laughs> Flush. Please don't move. No, I'm probably moving it. Suction cup? Do I have a suction cup? <clears throat> oh ho!
I don't think this will work though. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work. Oh? oh okay, I just dropped it. That probably shifted it. Hold on, hold on. Wait. Okay, that is flush. I just gotta lift it without shaking the whole thing. Where's the screw? Moment of truth? <laughs> no, it shifted. <laughs> it shifted. Autofocus is on? Yes, I know the autofocus is on. Okay, really, really, really. Ever so slight shift. Or unloosing. Dang, how did Heidi do it so easily? <laughs> Would having more in help? Let's try just adding these, but not tightening it all the way. Let's see if this does anything. I'm gonna think not, but... Tiny is actually a god. It takes me like five tries when I do it. Dude, I've been on this for more than five. <laughs> okay, it is flush. What if I memorize the... No, I can't do that. to be focused towards the bottom. No, I don't think this section is... It's not helping much. I st it still shifts when I pull it out. It just gets pulled with so much force. Oh.
try this. Okay, that isn't flush. Just tighten, I'm just going to tighten that one down. Does it still? Can I still do it with one down? Maybe that's how I should approach this. Okay, when that is tightened, this does not work. I'm just going to go around putting it in random spots until it eventually tightens. Perfect. Flush. it off with the suction it just be, it just shifts because it gets caught or is there another piece I need to rip off here no it's not that That's it. Oh. <laughs> After three random guesses, ah, shin bar not so tight again. <laughs> yeah, this is the problem corner on this unit. Sweating yet? I, I've been sweating. Holy moly. Why is this so tight there? Oh, okay. So this is fixed. Let's try this opposite corner. Actually, let's just try all four right now. See if that, if just screwing that, that part is enough. Oh, it is. It's still flush. Hallelujah. Okay. We can tighten the rest. I think we got it. We got it guys. <laughs> Sherpa Rick, thank you so much for the prime sub. 
Uh, so drop. Thank you so much for the gift. It's a Thai burrito with the nine months age noodles with the prime. Thank you. Como with the two months. Digital paradox with the three. Thank you. Only took us like 30 minutes. Imagine you sent it back and client wants linears. I mean, I'm down to rebuild it as long as they're willing to pay for it. <laughs> Definitely don't want to deal with this too often though. do an hourly rate no hourly rates don't make sense for me or hourly hourly rates don't make sense for streamers because you're you're you lose so much time just talking to chat yeah it's not fair to put that on the client i don't want to have to do math every stream to figure out <laughs> how much of the stream was actually spent making the keyboard so okay board is now built can put the suction cup away. Rev 2 has plate alignment, but we can't get PCBs. Sag. Everyone getting hit with shortages. Okay, we're gonna go with the best keycap set. GMK white on black. Cat cam back, yeah, ran out of battery. I don't know, man, that keycap set kind of reminds me of Hyperfuse. What? How many white on blacks do you have in storage? I don't have white on blacks on storage. But I, I sourced this for Mr. Jeff. Whoa, Sherpa Rick, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. What the?
carry clear than 205G0 kind of sus. So this, uh, Jeff has never tried lube switches. So I thought I might as well give him 205 grade zero. Because he already has a ton of boards with stock clears. This didn't feel too smooth. Should we use the wide accents? Yes or no? Pico ABM things are the biz. What bare bones kit and switches would you recommend to someone totally new to keyboard? Currently own a Razer Blackbird. You can go for the NK65 entry edition or even the aluminum edition is fine too. Ooh. Brand speaking new set. White on black. Oh, chat has voted yes for the white on black, white accent keys. This is a rare, rare moment. That is wrong. <laughs> this is the state of the hobby, guys. Where the majority of the the masses prefers the white accents. Oh shoot. Chat is dumb as hell, bro. <laughs> Can confirm I am stupid. Sub only unless you remove the accents. You know what? I welcome sub only. It's been a while since we've had sub only. Let's see how it is. Maybe my sub count dropped because maybe that's why my sub count dropped because it's not sub only anymore. Lock up the plebs? Dang, Grace is brutal. You ship the client the key set along with the key keyboard. Uh, yes, depending on whether they buy keycap sets or not. Some people don't necessarily care for buying nice keycap sets, or they already have a keycap set they want to use. Oh my goodness, Jivex. Thank you so much for the five gift of subs. See more subs. <laughs> no. Yeah, I gotta afford LA rent somehow, chat. After stream today, I gotta go pick up some more film. Oh, whoa, 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 ZXCV. Dang, these stems feel a little tight, kind of scary. <clears throat> yeah, I can feel the thickness. is happiest in sub only it does clear our mental a little bit not gonna lie any suggestions on reducing stem wobble on larger poles uh, nk creams 
So film's gonna be awkward. You do not film creams. You will have a miserable time. goes here by default. Let's see. Home page up and page down. Okay, home. I think we are done. Whoa, what the? Shmemcat, thank you so much for the tip. Wow, that's a fat tip. I just want to be the monthly top donor. Get Rex CSGO Jones. Oh, thank you so much. ABWR, thank you for two months. Joseph Baker, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Okay. We have finished the build. It doesn't look that bad actually with the silver top. Okay, let's weigh this. Where's my scale? Eh, no need to weigh this. We've already uh, built the prototype in the past before. Can refer to the prototype. Check the MCC why I haven't been active. Oh, new hobby I see. Okay, let me turn off. Let me small. Cats are a little too big right now. This is the slip line. A collaboration between Heine and Mr. Krelbit. The bottom actually looks really nice with the underglow. Ooh, can we make, let's max this. Uh, lighting. That didn't make anything. Oh yes. Now that is nice. Is the back. USB port. The side. <laughs> this is the Magic Force layout. One of the best layouts ever made. Okay, shall we get... Can we get the, uh, the casino and everything open? Whoa, Jivek! Thank you so much for the 26.01. <laughs> Claiming the top donor again. Thank you so much for the tip. Why is on my thing for seven months? Okay. YouTube screenshot. Three. Uh, let's do the RGB. Three, two, one. Boom. Okay. Uh, I will say this is a heavy ass. This is heavy. The spring. So keep that in mind when you place your bets. <laughs> Wait, what? 
that's not my monkey type. Weak AF is the stock clear weight. Probably like 90 gram. Not betting, trying not to get titled and ruin my evening. Wow, Glars is saying I'm gonna ruin his evening. Feels bad. Wait, the casino's not open. Let me open it. Oh, choose outcome? Did I not choose outcome yesterday? Whoops. Wait, did the casino finish? Did this just happen or is this from yesterday's stream? I can't tell. When was this poll made? It ran already? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Mr. Soran. <laughs> Here we go. This is the slip line built with uh, Cherry MX Clears, lube with 205 grade zero by Mr. John B. It definitely has a coating, but it should wear off with time. Uh, stock springs and PX switch films, aluminum plate, keycap set is GMK white on black. This is how loud the mouse clicks are at keyboard level. <clears throat> I'll raise my chair. Oh, that's so heavy. Wait, 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 wait. Backspace is not on here. Wait, 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 wait. I need to reprogram this. Where's tilde? Crap, this has short backspace. I'm gonna mess up again. Here we go. This is backspace, okay. Way too heavy. I can't type on this. I don't know how Jeff codes on this. <laughs> These are what the mods sound like. Learn to round? No, we do not round. We truncate here. Round up? Fine, I'll start rounding up. Is that the leaf or? I want to see that's the leaf. I'll have to look into it. I'm gonna stop slight pick. Sounds good. This definitely has a thick coating, and these clears are still pretty scratchy despite the lube because Cherry Omega Lull. But the board actually sounds nice. Let's do one more. I gotta redeem myself. One more. One more casino. What spring is it? It's the spot stock spring. I changed my mind. I don't think I like the accents. Yes. You should not use white on black with the accents. <laughs> Car Y9, thanks for the five months. The real 
real blob block. Thanks for the prime set. One more prediction. This is backspace. Okay. <laughs> They're so cute. Wait, what? Why did prediction get restarted? Made the 30 second one? Oh, I see. Okay, predictions are over. Here we go. What's the ratio? <laughs> Only 16% believe. Only 16% believe. <sighs> okay, I gotta do this for the believers. This this week's runs have not been so great. Fingers are tired, man. <laughs> it's so heavy. <laughs> oh, that was close. Ah, I could have hit 145 on it. So close. This is actually tilting. <laughs> no, it's definitely the spring. I I generally type around 60 grams. Uh, I believe clear is bottom out at like 80 or 90. Oh, Kevin, hello. Wait, let's see. Uh, spring weight of cherry clears. Oh, I lied. They bought them out at 100. What? Look, look at this chat. I normally use springs that bottom out at 62 this bottom this actually at 65 <laughs> bottoms out at 100 <laughs> yeah it's just way too heavy for me i'm not used to this weight at all but this was the build for mr jeff atwood give me the points oh oops yes i'll pay out i'll pay out the doubters one day the believers will win A hundred grams? Hearing that makes my carpal tunnel act up. Yes, this bottom's out a hundred grams. That day is far away. Look at this MKBHD screenshot. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I did not see this video. I haven't seen a lot of MKBHD's latest videos. What could that mean? Oh, you can't see because of my face. Hold on. There's the custom keyboard. Ooh. Isn't the whole point of clears that you don't bottom out literally? Uh, yes and no. Some people think you shouldn't bottom out. Some people think you should. 
I actually I I bought him out pretty hard. Yeah. Is Jeff Atwood a finger bodybuilder? Some people just like heavy switches. Uh, Minterly, for example, types on extremely heavy switches. I don't understand. For someone of her, her, uh, you don't, you wouldn't expect Minterly to type on extremely heavy clicky switches, but that is her, I think that's her preferred switch. I would say if you're a heavy typist, you're also kind of in the minority. But this is it. Took a little bit longer than I expected because the build <clears throat> took a bit long, but. Did you learn to write on a typewriter or something? No. Clickies are the worst. Some people like clickies. All right, that is it for today's stream. I don't have anything to unbox. Uh, stream this Friday as well. It will either be a keyboard for another YouTuber or we're gonna be taking a look at the Yeti. I think the PCB is probably getting to me on time though. So the YouTuber build might be pushed to next week. But regular stream time. Ooh, actually I don't know when I'm when I would stream this Friday. Unannounced Friday stream again. Yeah, I don't have a set time. Okay. Oh no, Po Poes Joe. I was just about to raid someone. <laughs> Thank you so much for the raid. Okay, I'll pass your raid plus my viewers on to someone else. How about that? I just finished the stream, but I'll show the board. We built a slip line today. All right. Let's see who is live. Uh, ooh. I have someone I want to raid. Let's give Mr. Pengu a raid. It's been a while since we raided Pengu. I don't overlap with him often. What's he doing? He's playing some funky game I've never heard. Uh, let's see. Did you see your latest feature on the on the score? Teha Unji Teha Types, Ray, Teha, Keyboard. All right, he's playing some, looks like an indie game almost, but thank you guys for hanging out today. I'll see you guys on Friday. Oh, my lips hurt so much. Stay safe. Check out the latest vlog on the main channel in case you guys already haven't. And yeah, I'll see you guys, see you guys on Friday. Bye bye. Don't get banned on his stream. Don't be too cringe. <laughs> and thank you for the raid again, Poestia. Sorry, <laughs> unfortunate timing. All right. Bye bye.